my mind being so cluttered. I just met Mix. All of them. They really liked me and they wanted to sign me. Good morning, guys. I just woke up. It is a Tuesday today. I am moving to my new solo apartment on Sunday, but I did want to kickstart the vlog leading up to Sunday and I'll probably start a new vlog on the actual moving day. The actual moving content probably won't start until the next vlog, but you guys will get to see the behind the scenes. I've been spending so much time on Facebook Marketplace these days because you guys, furniture costs a whole arm and leg. It's stressful, but it's been a lot of fun and I'm making myself less stressed by telling myself that I don't need to have every single thing in my apartment in the first week, you know? I just, I basically just need my bed and like a couple other pieces that will get me through my days. But other things like a coffee table, a rug, like those are just extra things that will make my place feel homey but i don't need that right now just got myself a big mug of water a lot of people have asked me where i got this mug it has frog on one side and strawberries on the other the answer is i made it you know those places where you get to just pick out a plate or bowl or whatever like ceramic and then you just get to paint i just found this inspo on pinterest and recreated it ah i'm gonna start my day with journaling I haven't done this in so long, but I started again last week because I was editing my video. I realized how just cluttered my mind was when I was speaking to anything and anyone. And I noticed it more because I was just watching back the video that I filmed so that I can edit. And I just kept saying like sentences that didn't even make sense. Just saying things repeatedly because I couldn't get the right wording, because I couldn't put the sentence together. And I think part of that has to do with my mind being so cluttered. I got so frustrated so quickly just from hearing myself talk nonsense. And ever since then, I was like, oh my god, like I need to, I don't know, meditate, do yoga sit in silence a little bit, clear my mind because I want to be the person who speaks clearly and speaks efficiently and speaks well. I want to be a well-spoken person. I think that is one of the biggest compliments someone can ever give someone being like, wow, you're so well-spoken. And that is someone who I want to be. And right now I am not that. I've been just writing down everything that's on my mind when I wake up and also just kind of affirmations to get my mind in the right zone. And this is an example of something I wrote a few days ago and it says, I achieve clarity, my mind and body is clear from clutter and distractions. I attract vision, focus and success. I attract like-minded people. It's gratitude, it's manifestation, it's brain dumping. You just need these once in a while and I'm trying to get back into it so this with like some occasional yoga class and some occasional time away from podcast music and videos playing in the background has been helping. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. Done. That literally took me two minutes of my morning and I already feel a little more focused and my mind kind of knows what to zone in on for the day. So highly recommend trying that out. I got this chair from Amazon for my new place. So the things that I do have ready for the apartment let me go through is a full-size mattress and like a bed platform i feel like i'm just not really a big bed frame person just because i could get sick of that so easily and i don't mind not having a little headboard like i don't think it's that important so i just have a little platform to like heighten my mattress. Instead of the headboard though, I really want to either find an artist or try to DIY it myself a really, really big art piece where the head place would be like from ceiling to, not all the way to the floor, it doesn't have to go to the floor, but where like the mattress would end. And I think that'll be a really cool look, especially because my bedroom is pretty small. So an art piece that would fill that space up wouldn't even have to be like that big. We'll definitely have to get the measurements to see if it's something that I could do in my living room. I still need to look into like if I want a side table for my bed or if I want to do like a little shelf as like a little side table situation. I might want like a little bench at the end of my bed so I can like put 
random clothes i think i have the couch situation figured out i still need to look for a coffee table i have like a little dining table and four chairs I have a desk that goes up and down this chair that will go with that i have a full length body mirror you see i have a lot of things ready right now i haven't seen my place after touring it so i don't have the exact measurements to anything and i'm forgetting the dimensions of certain places like i don't remember how big my den was exactly so i can't exact i can't plan it i need to buy a rice cooker that is such an adulting adult thing to say i have just been eating instant rice but i will need a rice cooker i do have an air fryer um but that's about it i have some cooking supplies i had our place send me a package i'm really really excited to open that up once i get to my new place and start cooking i still need like plates and bowls and spoons like cutleries um i just realized i have a lot of things left because i feel like those things are important like what am i gonna eat i must figure that out asap but for now i'm gonna put some bacon in the air fryer because i want to make a blt sandwich for breakfast taking out bacon from the packaging is the most inconvenient thing ever we have lightly toasted bread right here i'm gonna do honey mustard on the other side nine hours yes do i need a coffee right now no but i actually i'm so excited to talk more about where i'm about to go this afternoon but i'm gonna talk about that while i get ready for it but where i'm about to go in like two hours it's right next to blue bottle and i already know i'm gonna be tempted to buy myself a seven dollar cup of coffee moving and all costs a lot of money and i'm just trying to be in my save as much as i can in the areas that i can control mode right now instead of being tempted and giving up to my addiction of buying coffee i'm just gonna make coffee at home and by making coffee i mean just pouring two things together because I don't have a coffee machine here. Oh wow, that's really sweet, but that's really good. Okay, so here's the tea. This goes back all the way to like 2018. I've always wanted to bottle, which is like so weird for me to say i don't know why it just makes me so like i feel like i will never be enough to model which is not true anyone can model and i think in 2023 the stereotype that all models have to be like looking like a barbie doll super skinny super like sharp like that's not a thing anymore different brands need all different sizes and skin color and features to fit different campaigns you could be a model too if you wanted to fast forward to 2021 2022 last year i believe i mentioned this in my new year's resolution video but i wanted to be in front of the camera more where i'm like not controlling the camera meaning not for like vlogging purposes being in front of the camera but being in front of the camera for photos and being part of something creative and I wanted to go on more like fun photo shoots with friends and other creatives never really happened but i take a lot of photos on my instagram page and i've been working out my confidence a lot and i decided to apply to different modeling agencies in la and i applied to like 
15 different agencies and I actually heard back immediately from two different agencies that are pretty up there on the list. I already went to one agency for an interview, did some test shoots and they really liked me and they wanted to sign me. Another agency reached out and wanted to see me today. Today's a Tuesday. So I was like, I feel like I just need to still go because technically I haven't signed any contract. So I want to be able to like kind of compare the vibes of the two different agencies and have the option to choose from. It's exciting and a little scary, not gonna lie. For makeup, their description is no makeup or very minimal makeup. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply my primer. This thing is amazing because it has a rolly applicator so I can actually just kind of massage my face while at it. I'm gonna do a little bit of this contour stick but I'm gonna make sure to put it under the face makeup that I'm gonna put on just so that it is just the most natural it can be and I'm gonna do like the thinnest line right where my cheekbones are just around my face a little bit and my eye maybe like right here as well and then a little bit on my nose and here's a reminder that you should go wash your makeup brushes I'm not gonna wear just this I'm literally gonna do like a 15% foundation to 85% sunscreen. Maybe with some of the primer. I'm gonna mix all of that in. Not gonna give a lot of coverage at all. But it's just gonna give a really pretty skincare finish. Like glass skin finish. I think this made my complexion look a little bit more even. And I'm gonna skip on the concealer. I'm gonna take an angled brush. And then a cool tone brown shade right here. And just touch up the little empty spots in my brows. For outfit, I just need to wear something simple. So I'm wearing this white tank top from Laffy. I've been wearing this a lot. I just feel like this is like the perfect clean cut tank top. The material is also super nice, washes well, super high quality. I'll link it down below. And then these pants are just black straight jeans from Calvin Klein. They did say in the email that I don't have to wear heels, that I can just wear boots or sneakers. So I'm just gonna wear my sambas. Makes my life a lot easier because I can't walk in heels that well. Let's go. Oh, I just met with this agency. They were so friendly and nice, which makes things a lot harder. One thing about this agency that I do have to make a note of is that they are on their official model search right now. So even when I was in there, there were a lot of girls like lined up to meet with them and to have an interview so that makes things feel less personal versus when I met with my first agency things felt so personal because they were like we maybe meet with like one to three people a month it's really hard to find new faces but we really like you and that made me feel special you know they did tell me that they'll let me know by Monday so we'll wait and see I was home after my meeting with the agency and I was just chilling. But now I'm going to a baseball game. And here's my little OOTD. I love sports games just because it just gives me a reason to dress up. So, wearing this halter neck knitted top from this brand. I don't want to say it wrong and then this hoodie is from Uniqlo skirt I've shown you guys a million times from Brandy and I'm wearing my little Dodgers hat and this Dior purse from Rebag
was saving to vlog today for later this evening, but I forgot to bring my camera. So I'm gonna have to vlog on my phone for this. Now I'm talking extra loud so the audios kind of match up to my camera microphone audio. That's a lot more crisp and picks up my voice a lot better. But right now I'm going to the mall. I'm going to the Grove because I need to pick out a pair of black jeans that fit me a little better than the one I have right now. I'm going into the I'm going into my agency tomorrow afternoon to take some digitals and I have to wear black skinny jeans and tight fitting top and then black like bikini. That's just like the very basic portfolio pictures that we have to take. Whenever I go to the mall to find something very specific, I have the hardest time. And right now it's 7.30 and I believe the mall like closes at 8 or 9. I believe it's 9. I hope it's 9. So I'm on, I'm in a little time crunch and hopefully I can find something. But yeah, after that I'm gonna go to the gym, do my upper body day and probably go into the sauna and shower and come back home. Good morning! Look at how wavy my hair is. I did not do anything to it, but recently I realized that I should start using hair products that are specifically for wavy hair and it has completely changed the game because usually I have like when I don't use curly hair products and just shampoo and condition and dry it, my hair just is straight and puffy and frizzy but now we take care of it and it's just so wavy all throughout anyways i was supposed to go take digitals today but it got rescheduled for next monday because they said they had to paint the wall which is like the white wall that they take pictures against so i don't have to go in today anymore which is good for me because i did have to finish a video today so that gives me the entire day to just edit but i want to do some haul for you guys including the things that i got yesterday for my digitals and then i have some packages that i want to open with you guys as well i went in because i knew they were having an anniversary sale but i ended up getting things that were not on sale first thing i got of course was a pair of skinny jeans and it was $129, which is pricey, but for a pair of really good denim that I'll probably wear repeatedly for the same type of purpose, I think that was a really good investment piece that I could have gotten for myself, so I'm pretty satisfied. And then I just got a plain tank top from Skims. These ripped tank tops from Skims so nice and they just fit so flattering on your body so i thought it would be nice for my digitals as well this one's a little boring but it's just a wireless wi-fi router for my new home this is the one that they recommended like the service company recommended that i get this one if i want to buy one for myself or i could rent the same one the cost ended up being the same so i was like why would i rent it when i don't even get to keep it at the end and pay the same price versus just buying my own and i get to keep it this one is a package from florasis which i did a partnership with them last summer and i love their makeup products i still use it on an everyday basis big fancy bottle Ooh, i think it's a cleansing oil bomb it's a cleansing oil Oh, oh my god, how did I know? This is so cute. It's like portable cleansing oil that you can take on the go when you're traveling. This is so perfect. Oh my god, this makes me feel like a little girl again. Like when your mom buys you like makeup toy. I recently watched Barbie and it absolutely destroyed me let me know what you guys thought of the barbie movie if you guys have seen it already because it made me want to cry and i'm willing to watch it at least like three more times but this is a powder i have this one literally in my purse right now and it's their 
clear powder and I love it because it comes with a little puff and it makes it super easy to take on the go but this looks like a powder with a little bit of coverage which is nice it's Friday morning and I'm about to head my way to pick up my keys I don't fully move in until Sunday because that's when I rented like the U-Haul truck and everything and my friends are gonna help me move some of the bigger things into my room but um, I'm picking up my keys this morning I think I'm gonna go in to my room to my apartment to kind of see my place again and see what it will need in terms of like maybe extra cleaning before I move in that I want to do myself to make sure it's like really clean and I'm also taking my iPad so I can use it to measure the size of certain like nooks and like den spaces because I need to plan out how I'm gonna furnish those it's the app called measure you know why I forgot about this feature because I literally put it into a folder that says X I think you just let it observe the room I got a PR package from Kosis Kosis is one of my favorite makeup brands right now I need to share this with you guys because this package I swear was made for me and my non-existing eyebrows they have a new product called brow pop nano so it's an ultra fine detailing pencil this tiny brow pencil is the thinnest pencil i've ever seen there we go they also included their brow gels I think their brow gel is one of my favorites that I've ever tried. These pencils are the ones that they already had out. These are also really good. They're like an angled triangle pencil. So it's faster to fill in because you're covering more area at once. I feel like I've already shown you guys how I make my salmon bowl multiple times. But first we're starting with the base of rice. Then we add some avocado in here. 